Using a monolingual English dictionary can be tricky. Is there any difference in how to use a dictionary when you're reading or speaking to somebody? Here are seven dictionary use secrets you must know. Hey, my fellow English learner, you're watching Fluent English with Lady Giraffe. I'm Olga, and today we're gonna discuss how to get 100% out of your English English dictionary. I talk about dictionaries a lot on this channel and you'll find all the videos I'm gonna mention today in the description down below. So is there any difference between using an online dictionary versus a paper dictionary? Personally, I don't use paper dictionaries anymore. They're heavy to carry around and it takes ages for me to find the word I'm looking for. I noticed that looking up a word in a paper dictionary helps me remember this word for a little bit longer because I put so much effort into the process. Also, paper dictionaries are expensive. Online are free. I definitely like that. I talk more about paper versus online dictionaries in this video. There are some strategies I use to look up information in the dictionary effectively and fast. It matters if I'm reading something, listening to something, speaking to somebody, or writing something. When I'm reading, let's say, a book, I stumble upon some new words regularly especially if I'm reading something challenging. A new word can look familiar and I might kinda know it and I feel it's important, so I might go to the dictionary to confirm its meaning. The only thing that matters here is the meaning. I just need to know if I'm right or not. I don't look at the grammar collocations because I want to continue reading without constant interruptions. I also might guess the meaning of a word and then go to the dictionary to check my guess. Or I might go and check the meaning of a completely new word to me. In both cases, I'm also gonna pay attention to the meaning and pretty much nothing else. Nothing else matters. Mm, maybe pronunciation? My usual strategy for using the dictionary while reading is to underline your words, read till the end of the chapter, and only then look them up in the dictionary. I talk in detail about how this strategy works in this video. If I'm listening to something and I notice a word I want to look up in the dictionary, I write it down to search for it later. Listening is a more fast-paced activity. I don't have time to look up words while I'm in the process of listening. And when I'm finally looking this new word up, I'm reading its meaning, but I'm also focusing on its spelling because I was listening to it. It's always possible to write words down with spelling mistakes when you're only hearing this word. So, I make sure that I correct my mistakes. When I'm speaking to somebody, of course I don't have time to use the dictionary. But I can write down a word in my native tongue I want to translate later or ask my speaking partner to help me with figuring out the word I'm looking for. No dictionary needed. When I'm speaking to myself or recording myself, I also write down the words I don't know in my native tongue to fill in the gaps later. Oh, also sometimes a word or expression pops into my head and I'm not sure about it. I use a dictionary to check whether a word or phrase exists. It happens more often than you might think, because I listen to so much content in English and learn many words incidentally. Remember when I said that grammar, collocations and stuff don't matter when I'm using the dictionary while reading? Well, they certainly do when I'm writing something. 
I check the part of speech, whether a noun is countable or uncountable, whether a verb is transitive or intransitive, stuff like that. I put the most effort into my searches in the dictionary when I need to focus on how to use a word correctly. You can learn more about different grammar terms in this video. Your learning style also matters when it comes to using the dictionary. I, for example, need to see and listen to new vocabulary at the same time. It's pretty much impossible for me to learn something from only hearing it. I need to see it. You may be quite the opposite. Or you might be very curious and spend a lot of time learning everything about one word, including reading countless example sentences. Or you might be extremely impatient and look up words in the dictionary very rarely. Every single dynamic is perfectly normal and your unique way may work for you. If you're curious which dictionary you should choose to use, I have two videos with detailed comparisons. I compared the Cambridge and the Longman dictionaries here and the Oxford, Collins, Merriam-Webster and Macmillan dictionaries here. Unfortunately, the Macmillan online dictionary doesn't exist anymore, which is a bummer. My favorites are the Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English and the Merriam-Webster Dictionary. However, you don't have to use dictionaries all the time. Learning to guess the meaning of new words from context can help you cut back on dictionary use immensely. I show how to do that in this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content.